Hello everyone, this is me, Sakya here, and I'm back with the monthly reads for the month of August 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of Cancer. So Cancerians, let's see what's coming in for you for the month of August. I will be adding a lot many cards here in this reading, so stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read. It may not, may not resonate with everyone out there, so pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For person reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see what's coming in for you in the month of August. We do have our first card, which is Seven of Wands. I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, if there has been something that you felt you are not ready and prepared for, you are going to feel prepared for that specific thing. Um, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, um, it can be you walking away from a person probably you are too attached to and you felt like you would never be able to walk away from that person because you love them. But the thing is that person is taking you for granted. So if you had your attachment or addiction to that specific someone in an unhealthy way where probably this person was taking you for granted, using your love or, you know, um, your emotions, I feel like you, know, you are going to get strong enough to uh pull away from that person you're gonna feel like yes you can do that yes you you don't have to stick around a person who is not valuing you and all of those things so i already see that for some of you if you're if you have felt this way you are gonna feel like no you can definitely take a stand for yourself and stand up for for yourself in in regards to other areas of your life too like maybe you felt like um you, you were never prepared to leave a job which is not paying you well uh, you felt you're not prepared to apply it somewhere else, you're going to feel like now you're ready. So there is something which is going to make you feel like taking action towards something that you're going to feel that you're ready for. So you have a lot of understanding and awareness about so many things. I feel like in for majority of you, um, there are some, some interviews that you might have been dealing with, be that for, for in regards to your love life or work life, but I feel like you, know, you are going to feel strong enough to take action now in the month of August. And I feel like, you know, um, nothing is going to stop you now because I feel like, you know, for majority of you, probably it was your fear that was stopping you. It was your lack of confidence in yourself that was stopping you. But now you, you, you don't care. You really want to stand up for yourself, be that for your love, work, passion that you have for something. But yes, you're going to fight for it. You're going to you're gonna make sure that you take stand for yourself this time around. So even if you are dealing with a person and that person is not giving you the commitment or something like that, you're going to fight for that. If this person is not willing to give you the commitment still, you would probably rather choose to not, you know, stick around that person. Um, you would rather choose to, you know, um, leave it um, there. Because, uh, because you're not going to let things happen like, you know, where you feel ignored and neglected or taken for granted at all. I feel like, you know, maybe there has been a lot of disappointment that you have been dealing with. Um, but now, as you as you take stand for yourself, things will start working well for you. We be that with the same person or with the same situation. Um, it doesn't matter. Things are going to work out for you. So for some of you, probably you are going to put a, you know, put a very clear-cut stance around something to someone, be that at work front or love life. And if they agree to your terms and conditions, cool. If they don't, you are ready to let it go, let it be. Um, because you're not going to let you know, um, people take you for granted and disappoint you. Uh, you might have been disappointed already so many times. Um, so you really don't want that to happen again. So I feel like you, know, you are going to take stable steps towards, um, towards making your life... Uh, uh, easy for yourself rather than like you know uh, letting it be um, dependent on other people and their opinion and their decisions you are going to take charge of your life and you're going to move forward so I really feel like in you know, a majority of you um, you are ready for happiness you're ready to let go of the pain and suffering you're ready to let go of anything that is not working well for you you're ready to cut off people cut off situations cut off ties with people work uh, anything that that has been taking you for granted. You're not going to let that happen again to yourself. So you might be walking away from something, believing that you're worthy of more than what you were getting. So I really see you walking away from something or someone in the month of August. 
and pursuing something which you believe you are worthy of. You might have not like, you know, the courage or strength enough to go about it, but now you will have that courage. Now you will have that strength and you are ready to go for it. You might have thought a lot. You might have won some inner battles around it as well. But yes, I really feel like you are heading in the right direction. Whether you see things happening for yourself or not, but you are moving in the right direction for sure. And you are going to feel very stable and happy because I feel like you know, it's always bit good to be, um, you know, single than to be with the wrong person. So you might choose to stay single or you might choose to walk away from something toxic uh, than, than staying there and feeling, you know, uh, like a doormat for that person. I feel like, you know, you're going to pull away from something like that and you're going to move forward, um, working towards your own growth and everything. So I really see something like that coming up for you in the month of uh, August. Let's see what else is coming in. I feel like, you know, you're not going to buy any, any shitty story from your person as well. You're not going to like, you know, if they have been taking you for granted, you're going to just be very upfront about it. You cannot let that happen. Uh, because I really see you getting stronger uh, emotionally, mentally, physically. I really feel like, you know, when it comes to your career path, you are probably going to choose a different career path for yourself as well. If it is applicable to your work life scenario, you are going to um, stand up for what you're worthy of. So you are not going to like let people treat, treat you like nobody. So when you own yourself, that's when everything starts changing. So I really see the month of August could to be a, a time of your life where um, you are going to like, you know, make some major decisions of your life there and uh, see uh, things moving forward in the right way for sure. We do have the women holding a heart. I feel like you know, for some of you, you are going to feel ready and prepared for a loving and happy and healthy relationship, which is balanced and which is completely fulfilling so i feel like you know if you have been stuck with the wrong person you're gonna feel like no now you're prepared for a healthy happy relationship you don't want to be like you know in any sort of third party situation any sort of unfulfilling relationship so you know your worth and you're ready for something valuable so there is door to value i feel like you know you are gonna open that door and walk into that because only that is what you desire now you are done with the anxiety you are done with the unhealthy contracts or you know, situations that, that you might have been a part of. You don't want to be with that anymore. I feel like, you know, for majority of you, yes, maybe you have been anxious. Maybe you're still anxious when we are doing this read. But yes, you don't want to settle in for less now. You're done with all of it. You're done with being like the doormat for the other people um, and, you know, the, to be on the waiting side for them. You don't want to do that anymore. So I really see um, you moving forward. So uh, yeah, let's see more cards here. What else is coming in for you? Wow. Helper of emotion, romance blooms and you find yourself falling in love. Gifts of flowers, love letters and poems read aloud are all in your future. Marriage proposal, weddings and past life connections are possible. Someone new uh, who is romantic, dreamy, emotional may enter your life. This person could be an artist who is an idealist about love. I really feel like you know, for the majority of that's kind of the connection that you're craving for right now. You know, where you feel loved, where you feel like, you know, uh, the person values you. There is a lot of romance and happiness and gifts and love letters involved. I feel like, you know, you are done with, you know, being on the waiting side. You're craving for that love and feeling uh, emotional, uh, emotional fulfillment. I feel like, you know, that kind of person is going to walk into your life in the month of August. But I feel like, you know, it might come through around the end of the month time. But if you have already walked away from someone, then this is something which is going to happen for you in the probably beginning of the month. But yes, it's going to be a life changing time for you because, yes, you might be getting proposed by somebody who's like ready to give you a loving offer. But I really feel like you know, it's going to be somebody new because you're definitely walking away from someone who you are with right now or you have been with and um, you are cutting you know, your ties from the past. You're just moving forward. You're not letting that you know, relationship or a person control you anymore. You're just going to cut ties and move forward. So I feel like, you know, for some of you, yes, maybe uh, you are going to meet that one person in the month of August itself. But if not, then I feel like, you know, you are heading in that direction where you're going to meet the one. For your decisions, your angels are aware that you have concerns, but be assured that there is nothing to worry about. Stand your ground and know that heaven is shining its light upon this situation and all is being healed take the time to review all the details thoroughly forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved now for some of you i really feel like you know for some of you like i said earlier maybe you didn't have the strength earlier and now the divine really wants you to kind of like you know 
stay assured that something beautiful will come through. You know, you don't have to feel like, oh, you cannot like let this person go because maybe what if you'd never find love? Does this person even love you? Like, you know, you have to answer certain questions for yourself. And, you know, it's, it's more like it's you understanding yourself better. You understanding what, what, the future potential is for you in love if this person you know goes out of your life i feel like you know you are going to have some you know major decisions made during this uh, month time and all the decisions are going to be fair now because you have done some sort of injustice to yourself by being with the wrong person and i feel like you know, it's time for you to you know amend that as well so um let's see the last card seeing clearly it's time to view things from different perspective and again you know maybe you always felt like this person will change they will live, give you love this person is going to provide you with what you want but i feel like now is the time when you're going to realize that no you know you got to take stand for yourself things are not going to work out this way you know you cannot love a wrong person you cannot you know overfeed them with, with your love and care you got to kind of like you know take stand for yourself you cannot let that happen you have the blessed gift to see past the current situation and envision amazing possibilities don't worry the pauses uh, in the momentum will uh while you rethink you plan one plus embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you i feel like you know it's also very important right now cancerians for you to understand your uniqueness and um you are worthy of something beautiful if your person is taking you for granted that doesn't mean that you have to stick around that person or maybe you will never find love or maybe you, you are not worthy of something beautiful i feel like it's high time that you acknowledge your own worth and value and move forward uh towards uh, the one who's gonna love you value you for who you are so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read if it was of help do like share and subscribe till i do the next read for you guys take care bye